During the SARS outbreak in 2003, defense researchers from DSO's Biological Defense Program were called upon to identify the deadly virus in suspected carriers. A team of sensor experts from DSTA were also activated to develop a system for mass temperature screening. There were more than 100 nurses deployed at the Changi Airport and some of the immigration checkpoints at the height of this crisis where temperature screening of arriving passengers was the only means to control the import of SARS. Working in a sensor domain, we feel strongly that perhaps we can use some sort of thermal imager you know, as a device to support this uh, detecting fever, fever persons in a more effective and more efficient way. Within a week, the Infrared Fever Screening System, or IFSS, was born. The IFSS was Singapore's first line of defence to screen large groups of people for fever in order to check the spread of SARS. We screen and very quickly sieve out only people that potentially had high fever. The skin temperature of the forehead and the neck is detected by the thermal imager. And through the colour, it becomes very easy for an operator to be able to tell if a person is running a fever. The number of people needed to do this job had significantly reduced and as a result, most of the nurses can be deployed back to the hospital because I think the hospital was really, really taxed during that time. Looking back, I think it is very, very satisfying that our investment and our knowledge and experience built up in defence is leveraged and uh, we come together and able to create such an innovation you know, that can really help in the nation's fight against the SARS. The STA also developed a fully automated hospital movement tracking system, or HMTS, for hospitals, which made contact tracing and quarantine faster, easier, and more reliable. There was a massive effort, a manual effort, uh, to, to call all these people just to map out what are the possible links, contact links? Uh, and furthermore, the data may not be accurate because it depends on the person remembering who he had brought along for that visit. So, and, and that may not be accurate. And there's a greater fear that one of the potential contacts was missed out during the contact tracing. We tag the patient, we tag the staff, we tag the visitors that came along with the patient to the accident and emergency department in the hospital. When a patient is confirmed to be SARS infected, the contact tracer goes into a contact tracing application, puts in all the search criteria, and the system itself identifies exactly who, who had been exposed to the patient. And within an hour, the contact list can be generated. And the team of contact tracers have been reduced to about two persons. This HMTS was one good example how we employed what we know in the defence environment to help others. 
who needs our help.